here along the Ohio River, we recently traveled a couple hours upriver to Parkersburg, West Virginia. It has a beautiful historic neighborhood that should be on your travel list. was a business lifeline for the growing oil and gas industry in Parkersburg's early days. Oil and gas helped build this town. Industry leaders built this neighborhood overlooking the Ohio River, Julianne Square. Many homes here are framed by stately wrought iron fencing. The home construction grew grander each year, rivaling similar neighborhoods in Charleston, South Carolina and the Garden District in New Orleans. Many of these old homes are in a constant state of repair. Like Peter Van Winkle, many of the original Julia Ann homeowners were not just captains of industry, but government leaders who helped create West Virginia as a state. Homes grew grander with the owner's desire to impress. Some more simple homes remain in Julia Ann Square, but are no less important. simple or elaborate, have welcomed family and friends for generations. Colorful structures, grand lawns, and a wide variety of ornamental and lush gardens abound here.
Disneyland neighborhood offers visitors a self-guided tour, so allow yourself to go back in time and enjoy this little piece of Parkersburg. Allow time for a visit to Henderson Hall in nearby Williamstown, West Virginia. The preserved home holds a family's nearly 300 years of personal treasures from the cellar to the attic. Pack a lunch and enjoy it on a picnic table. Finally, no Parkersburg visit is complete without a stop at the historic Blennerhassett Hotel. Elegant and stately, highlighting political and life events that help shape this community. Enjoy your visit to one of the Mountain State's many historic places here in Parkersburg and watch for another journey to somewhere interesting in West Virginia and beyond. <music>